hope you are doing well. In this video, I want to talk about technology behind this amazing news. Doom in PDF, and not only Doom, but also Linux in a PDF. This guy adding 2210 have done this, published Doom PDF last week, and now is published the Linux in a PDF. Here I want to first show you very briefly what is going on and then talk about technical steps behind it. This is Doom in PDF. You know, Doom is a culture. People try to run Doom in whatever they can. It's amazing what they do. And also there are some jokes. There was a guy who was claiming that I've installed Doom on my Tesla. I drive and I shoot with my honk. Another one was running Doom on pregnancy test. But in general, on many, many, many things, people have run Doom. Nobody ever ran it in a PDF, but adding did. Please note, this is a real PDF file. Also, same thing happened with Linux. We will go through it. Okay, this is his Doom. You just load the PDF. Small catch is you have to open this PDF in your Chromium-based browser, like Google Chrome. The reason is, we will see the reason, but it's not supported everywhere. But it's a Doom as we know it. If anybody doesn't know about the Doom, it's a culture in gaming world done by a genius John Carmack and a genius John Romeo and the team. It was one of the first first-person shooters in this 3D world with lots of innovations. There are thousands of videos. There are tens of very good videos about Doom. You can check. Uh, but here you have the Doom being played here. There is a box to do the control. So if I'm there, I can, with, I can move it fast. So I can go to the menus. I can go here to the new game. Enter this level. And I'm not a good player. Here I can enter and start the game. And it's good enough. It's fast enough. You can go here. If you are a Doom player, you know that you can explode these funky things. Are these funky? No. Dangerous. Okay, so cool. Doom PDF works fine. And you have some controls here. And what is going on is shown here. Very nice. Same thing happened with Linux. Last week he talked about Linux, tweeted that I've done this. I'm not sure in Twitter, I saw it in Reddit. And there were some questions and answers. It was fun. He's a school kid. He's studying in high school. Interests in programming, web development, and cybersecurity. And he's done Linux in PDF. Again, you have a full PDF here. Uh, linux.doompdf.dev slash linux pdf. If you load it, you will see that a PDF is loaded in your Chromium best browser and then a real Linux boot. This is not an animation. This is a real Linux booting on a virtual machine. But how? Again, you have the same logic. So he used lots of things he had. This is a screen created by ASCII art. When you have this, PDF cannot show videos in this concept. So you need to generate this video somehow. And when you move, you have to regenerate it. What is going on is he's using ASCII arts. This comes from my childhood. For example, you can create this with some letters. Some are darker, some are more uh, dense, some are less dense, some are whatever the word is, I don't know. And when I was a child, we used to love these and collect ASCII arts. But this is a, another form of ASCII arts. Ah, it's obvious I'm trying to buy Lenovo. So, whatever you do here, it goes to the Doom engine. If image returns back, converted to this, and it's shown. Very nice. With the Linux, it's the same logic. You have a virtual keyboard and this. But how can PDF run an operating system or a game? PDF, I cannot recall correctly. 
clearly it's portable document format i believe this is the thing that we knew and the good point about pdf is you can format it and wherever you open it it would be the same and you can print it but during the time they started adding features one of the features is javascript just like doom which is everywhere javascript is everywhere now pdfs can run javascripts it's not a full javascript it's uh, based on apis what can be done what cannot be done it's not implemented everywhere all features because of the security reasons you can go to the web and open a javascript so you don't need to be uh afraid of opening a pdf on the web still it's good not to do it but in general it doesn't support everything that javascript supports as much as i know i might be wrong but it can a pdf can run javascript and the usage is okay you have a text here so you enter something you push this button it reads this text do something check if it's correct or whatever so it's useful but it's not meant to run doom what adding 2210 have done is combining lots of projects you have doom and doom is written in c so he fed this doom in c to a project called mscripten mscripten is a project i have it here is a project to convert c and c++ code to web assembly web assembly is a technically very few people would write in web assembly we write in c and c or we write in rust or any language and convert it to a web assembly file then in our web based page we have a javascript which needs a function so we call this web assembly and return back so this is running with the speed of c which is much faster than what javascript could do this is why we have WebAssembly. MScripten can convert C and C++ to WebAssembly. Older versions, when WebAssembly was not here, we used to do this with assembly.js, which was a subset of JavaScript. It didn't support or wanted to support whatever JavaScript has. It was smaller, but you were able to have a C or C++ code and use MScripten to get the ASP.js and then you were able to use this ASP.js in your web page. So what this genius has done? Genius people do what no one have thought about. At least one definition. He had the C, C source of Doom, fed it to MScripten, got the assembly JS, now he has something which can be run in a PDF on a Chromium-based browser. So he had this running the whole tool. What he needed to display the output and get the input. What he does was using ASCII art to convert the image to this thing and refresh it. I think the refresh rate is about 80 milliseconds for every frame and also he created a section for input which supports typing and pushing some buttons so you have doom running here with assembly js got by ms krypton fed it these inputs the output image will be converted with another function to this and update now you know what are the steps what what happens about the linux linux was more fun linux is done by tiny emu tiny emu is done by another legend blart uh the name of this guy bellis let me check it's worth checking fabrice bellart he's a genius because he's the guy behind qemu the most famous one of the most famous emulators when you are creating a virtual machine this guy is doing it behind the scene in many cases and also ffmpeg whenever you are converting a format to another format a video format to another format ffmpeg is behind the scene in most cases he also has this project tiny emu tiny emu is a tiny emulator 
It emulates a small machine for you where you can run commands. It supports RISC V and also x86. Here, the adding guy used this, tried to convert tiny EMU on this, running a small Linux kernel, which can run another program. Here it's bash or vi or whatever. Convert this using mscripten to assembly.js. Obviously, you will get some errors. You need to troubleshoot, do whatever. But at the end, he succeeded to convert tiny EMU using mscripten to the assembly.js. Now it's easy because he had the doom. Now it's enough to get the output, convert it using ASCII art to something like this, and then letting it to have a virtual keyboard, which are some buttons in a PDF. So you can just click on them or have an input. Sorry, have an input. And also there is a debug section here, which you can see what is going on. So here, for example, I can do it uptime. Enter. We've been up for seven minutes. You can even, for example, do LS. It's not very functional. It doesn't need to be functional. It's fast enough and it's very fun to have a real PDF running a Linux machine. Even if you want a virtual machine to test the command, you can go with your PDF and be the coolest guy. After adding who built, you can say, for example, VI test. It even has VI because it's tiny EMU. You can type your name. I like my name, so I will type it. And then you go with escape, shift, shift is done, WQ, write and exit. This is how VI works. Now, if you have an LS, you will have this. You have the file. You, ow, oh, there is no deletion. You name dash a it's kernel 4.15. And remember, this is a high school student interested in programming. I don't want to discourage you. I want to encourage you. Do fun things. Do whatever challenges you. Do new things. Just learn. Do the same thing. Create a very small C program. Try MS Krypton, create a VASP, convert it, load it, sorry, into a web page and see how this works. Now you have a very basic understanding of WebAssembly. Try the older version of VASP, see if you can convert it to ASP.js, see if you can load it. And start from this adding 2210 guy. He's amazing. Follow him. It's fun. And that's it. Enjoy. Computer world is huge and it's fun.